Well, 10 years ago, the United States was rocked by one of the worst natural disasters in our nation's history. And while the human toll from Hurricane Katrina was devastating, so was the impact on our four-legged friends. An estimated 250,000 animals were displaced or died. And now the ASPCA is making sure that when disaster strikes, every pet owner knows what to do. ASPCA Senior Director Joel Schwartzberg joins us now with some essential safety tips. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Anna. It's I my think pleasure. Chase just got a haircut. He's looking good He's this morning. He's very well groomed, Mr. Chase. All right. First, when disaster strikes, what do we need to know to keep our pets safe? So you mentioned how many people and how many animals were affected by Hurricane Katrina, and we want to try to avoid those kind of problems. The truth is that you could take very simple and easy and inexpensive tips uh -huh. to prepare yourself. What we found is one in three people actually are not prepared. They don't know what they would do in the case of an emergency. So I want to run through some of those things today. Perfect. Number one. Number one is really about the collar. You want to make mm -hmm. sure your pet has a collar with an ID tag with not just the animal's name, but contact information on the back. Okay. You also want to make sure that pet is microchipped. Now, a lot of people think it can be one or the other, but you really want both because a, an animal collar can fall off uh -huh. and not everyone can know that that pet is microchipped. So you really need both, not one Right, or the and it's other. really not that expensive is it? No, not at all. Just check with your shelter or your veterinarian. Very, very easy to do. It okay. doesn't hurt the pet at all, by the way. Also, we ought to, this isn't a problem for most of us. Keep current photographs of your animals on your phone. I mean, I probably take 10 pictures of my dog Baxter every day. Absolutely. So <laughs> keep this uh, on you at all times. And actually, we have an app uh, at ASPCA, okay. a, a cell phone app, which allows you to keep your photographs as well as veterinary information, m microchip information. That's really very helpful if you have to be on the go and bring those things with you. And we ought to have stickers on our windows, right? alerting even if there's like a fire any kind of emergency there are animals inside absolutely this sticker will let responders know how many animals are there now what's really important is when you leave your home or if the animals go away please remove the stickers because we don't want first responders to use their valuable time and risk their lives if there are no animals there and we need to know where shelters are that are where, where they are that are pet friendly around us in case disaster strikes absolutely you want all that information the phone number and contact information for your local shelter a pet friendly ho uh, hotel also some friends who can take your animal for you if you need to. And by the way, if you microchip your pet, make sure to keep that information updated. If you move and that information is not updated, it's fairly useless in helping you reconnect with that pet. And ahead of big storms, we always talk about your hurricane survival kit. It's got water and blankets and batteries right. and flashlights and canned food and all that. But we need to think about our pet food and their medication too. Absolutely, absolutely. So this is an example of a go kit. And you really want to have what I call a go mentality. Mm -hmm. What can you keep together and move you know, in short notice? And by the way, you need to know where you're going, what your evacuation plan is. So I have a lot of cats at my house. And <laughs> you're a cat man, I'm huh, a cat Joel? man, it's true, it's true. <laughs> very proud. And what I need to do is make sure during a disaster, I'm not looking for those carriers. I'm not digging them out of a closet or a basement or an attic. Right. So I keep them very accessible. Now here's the go kit, and like you said, it needs to have food and water, but you need to keep in mind, where am I gonna put that food and water? So you also need to have bowls, whether it's hard or paper. Yep. They also make these nice little collapsible and uh, waterproof bowls that are actually very useful. Well, Joel, thank you so much, and thank you for all that you've done in the wake of, of disasters like Hurricane Katrina. Well, we thank appreciate you. the ASPCA. You do thank a lot. Thank you for the opportunity. Appreciate it.